Well, hello guys. How's it going? Um, I know I haven't recorded in uh, well, I don't know how long, honestly. Um, today is gonna be a bit more of a serious video. I mean, not really, kinda serious for me at least. Um, however, I am going to get some food really quick because I am starving. poured a bit too much cereal, but uh, nah, it's fine. All right, now I'm going to eat the cereal while it's not soggy, and I'm gonna watch some YouTube, uh, and then we will get on to today's topic. But for now, roll the... Cereal has been devoured, so I'm going to take this downstairs and then we are going to begin today's video. So today we are going to be talking about depression, which I know isn't an easy subject for a lot of people, and I feel like that's something that needs to change. I feel like that's something that needs to change because people need to be more open about how they're feeling, and when you're going through something as serious as this, it can't be taken lightly. So today I've wrote down a bunch of tips on what I've learned struggling with my depression and anxiety and how I've learned to cope and manage it. So step number one is find your support system. Find somebody that you can easily talk to about anything and that you're comfortable sharing these feelings with. Having that support system allows you to vent your thoughts and allows you to freely express yourself. And without that, you may be stuck in your own head and just thinking these thoughts are okay, when in reality they're not. You need somebody to bounce those thoughts off of, therefore, to, well, to check in on yourself, really, to make sure you're okay. Now, I'm probably gonna be moving around a lot in this video because of uh, this little dingus right there. Um, my new puppy named Herc. Uh, he's been a ball full of joy, but uh, now he's barking at my cat. So if you're what I like to refer to as stuck or stuck in your own head, almost like you're stuck in your thoughts and you can't get out of this certain mindset, start learning what helps. And that's step number two. Um, learn what helps and learn what doesn't. Like in this situation, if you're trying to get out of your own head, go out. Go, go for a drive, go work out, go. If you need to get out of the house, like in any form or fashion, go do that. If you need to talk to somebody, go do that. Learning what helps in these situations can really help get you out of them, honestly. I mean, it takes time to learn what really helps and what really doesn't, but learning what helps is a key factor in getting you out of your head and managing depression. And that leads into step number three, which is Learn which thoughts repeat. If you're having those same thoughts or those same lines in your head which seem to make you feel the worst, then those are the ones you need to address the most. If 
you're having those repeated thoughts, then there's obviously something causing that. There's a root to that problem. And that root may help you lead and learn to manage your depression better. So step number four, seek medical help. Don't just rely on WebMD or um, trying to get friend, like friends advice. I mean, it's good to seek out advice from other people. However, go to a medical professional and try and get advice from them. You can't just get a diagnosis from yourself. Um, and most of the times, if you're feeling a certain way, then those feelings are gonna communicate to a doctor and you're going to get the help you need. Because at the end of the day, they're the professional, they're trained to deal with this. And I mean, not all the times they're right, but a good percentage of it, and a lot of that medicine can really help some people. Especially, I know it helped me in that case. Um, but seek out a, even if you don't need a psychiatrist for medicine, seek out a therapist. Just find somebody to talk to in general. Uh, therapy can really help a lot of people and I know it, it helped me a little bit. Um, but talking to a therapist is a really good thing for some people. Step number five, it's okay not to be okay sometimes. Sometimes you're gonna feel like shit. And that's okay. As long as you realize that this is just a short moment in your life and not some everlasting cycle. It's okay not to be okay as long as you're not letting yourself sit there and just be stuck. You have to keep moving forward and keep pushing forward. You can't let yourself just stay in one spot and just hope everything's gonna turn out okay. You're gonna have to work for it with Depression, it's, it's an everyday struggle and you're gonna have to learn how to manage yourself and learn how to keep your emotions in check. But with that in mind, you're not alone. There are thousands of people out there with depression all over the world and um, there are always people you're gonna be able to talk to and there's always gonna be somebody that you can reach out to to just say, hey, like, I'm not okay. And that's okay. As long as you're not letting yourself just stay in that spot. Don't be stuck, keep pushing forward. So I'm gonna leave you guys off with two little tips, um, just a little piece of advice. You know, this too shall pass. Um, not all pain lasts forever and you're gonna get through this. Sometimes you have to look at the big picture which is hard to do, but in the end, life goes on. This isn't gonna last forever. You're gonna be okay, I promise. And then number two, don't isolate yourself. Um, find ways to just go have fun. Go hang out with friends, but most importantly, talk to people. Don't let yourself just sit in your room and sit in bed and not do anything. Keep moving forward. Keep pushing onward and don't let yourself just stay in one spot. Change is inevitable, but change is also okay. Change is what allows us to move forward and progress. And sometimes change is necessary. So there we go. Those are my tips for helping manage depression. Um, I know that in my personal experience, those have helped me a lot because those are just the things that I do and the things that I've learned from managing with my depression. Um, I don't know exactly when my upload schedule is going to be, but I know I'm going to be posting a lot in the future. Um, I'll let you guys know probably in the next video when I plan on making that schedule. But um, for now, uh, this video is going to go up in the near future. So uh, until the next video, I'll see you guys. Peace.